What's good? What's good? What's good? Welcome back. Welcome back. The sun all in my fucking face right now, but we're ready to get started, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Today, we're talking about why you keep attracting girls you're not attracted to and how to fix it. All right. Your guy who's probably busy, um, but you keep attracting these sixes, man. These fives that you don't even like. How can we fix it? Okay. So if that's something you're struggling with today, the link is in the chat. If you're struggling with attracting, if you're tr if you're struggling with attracting the girls that you're attracted to today, if that's the problem you're facing, right? I want you to click the link in the chat. Click the link in the chat, join. Come give me some information so I can help you out. All right. If you keep attracting girls that you're not attracted to, you want to know how to fix it. Click that link in the chat. Join the stream. Join the stream. Let's take the first few callers. Okay. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm going to click the link in the chat, guys. Click the link in the chat. Click the link in the chat. Join the stream. Attracting girls you're not attracted to. I got to see your camera. Turn on your camera before you... Before I pick on you, if I can't see your camera and I can't see you visibly, I'm not calling on you. Okay. Click the link in the chat, guys. Click the link in the chat. Okay. I'm going to take out my notes. The first two people don't have a brain. They don't know how to turn their cameras on. I'm waiting for some people that know how to turn their cameras on because I'm not calling on you. <laughs> don't even waste your time. If you don't have a cam, if you don't turn your camera on, don't even waste your time because I'm not calling on you. All right. If you're a guy who keeps attracting women that you're not attracted to, click the link in the chat. Join. And let me come help you out. Hey, but you must turn on your camera. If you don't turn on your camera, I'm not going to call on you. <laughs> if, you, if you don't, if I, if I can't clearly see you, I'm not calling on you. I'm going to give Jess and Noah 10 seconds to turn on their camera. I'm booting you from the stage and I'll, you're not invited back. Five seconds. <laughs> okay, time is up. Bam from the studio. If you're a guy that has a question about attracting girls and not attracted to how to fix it, while I let the guys with a brain find their way to the chat, let me click this. Let me let me put this share this link again. And then let's start discussing what are the commonalities if you're attracting girls that you're not attracted to. What are some commonalities? Okay. Let's discuss it. Why do you keep attracting women that you're not attracted to? First of all, let me share my screen. Okay, Lena, are you ready? Give me a thumbs up, bro. All right, we got a brain, got somebody with a brain. So let me, if I get to that guy, if I get to the explanation, let's go to Lena. Lino, what's up, bro? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So you're attracting girls and not attracted to? Yeah. Sorry if my English is a little bit bad. I'm from Belgium. Okay. So where are you meeting these girls? Can you repeat that? Where do you meet these women? Where are you meeting these women? Mostly at the gym. Why are you meeting women at the gym? And if you're meeting them at the gym, how the hell... Can you see them and you're not attracted to them, but you still talk to them? Sorry, I didn't hear that. First question, why are you talking to girls at your gym? Second, if you're meeting them at the gym, you can visibly see them. How are you still dealing with them if you're not attracted to them? Oh, I I didn't know this was about this. I just uh, saw your life and I wanted to come see and... Okay, if you have a general question, I'm going to get to the guys who are 
on the show because of they have this problem. And then I'll get back to you, all right? Yeah, thanks, man. All right. The rest of the guys, you guys have uh you're struggling to keep attracting girls you're not attracted to? Give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up if you if that's your question. Pay attention, guys. Pay attention. If you're attracting girls you're not attracted to in the chat, give me a thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> Let me post the link again. If you're a guy attracting girls you're not attracted to, that's the link in the chat. Click the stream and join to come ask your question. All right. What is you guys' question? All y'all in the chat. Okay, let's go S-Man. What's going on? Can you hear me? What's going on, bro? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, I just want to say thanks for uh, all the content, you know, and like your videos. And the tip you gave about, like, doing the calendar, that helps a lot with your days. So thanks for that. Okay. Uh, I, just, I just wanted to ask real quick. So I'm still, I'm 18 and I live at home. So what's the best way to escalate after a date? Like, do I bring them back to my place? Do you, my do you have a place? I'm with my parents. Like then then how, how, how are you going to escalate, bro? You need, I know, that's what, I, that's what I'm asking. You need a job. A job. J-O-B. So, yeah, so you yeah, can make more money. And then move out at one point. Is that, like, that's your... Yes, that's, the, that's what you need to be focusing on. Okay, Getting let's... Money. Okay, okay. Let's say in between the time that happens when I move out, like, what should I do in the meantime? Maybe invite the girls to Airbnb or something like that. Okay. What what about inviting them when my parents are gone? Is that a bad you, idea? You or can do that too. You can do fine. that too. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. That's all I yeah. All right. Thanks, bro. Take all right, care. bro. Have a good one. All you guys who are in the chat, send a private message of what your question is. So how are we gonna do this moving forward? So I save as much time and get to as many people as possible. Whatever your question is, write it in the private chat. My question is, and then I will pick the guys who have a recent, a decent enough question. Okay. If you don't ask your question in the private chat, I'm not calling on you. So whatever your question is, type it in the private chat in StreamYard. So there's a private chat where you are right now. Type out your question and then I'm a, I'm a call on you. Okay. In the meantime, let's get to some com commonalities. It's not about I got a question. You guys need to follow fucking directions, man. What is your question? I got a question. No fucking shit. My question is blank. <laughs> what the fuck? If you don't type out your question in the question in the private chat on StreamYard, I'm not calling on you. Okay? Type out what your question is. Okay, my man Ross it has a brain. No wonder he's part of my buy me a coffee. Ross, your question is: There are no cool day spots near me, such as golf or bowling. I know that's not it's not ideal. Can a coffee date work in this case? So you got a problem, bro. Um, you got to switch logistics. You got to you got to get better logistics. All right, you got to because coffee date is going to set you up for failure. It's gonna it's, it's too platonic. It's too friendly. And what ends up happening is you can't create no sexual tension. Does that make sense, bro? Yeah, it does. Uh, it's just the fact that I'm trying to to not max out the rent right now. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's costing me a lot of focus for sure. Yeah. Um, the only thing you could do is just invite the girls over. Do you have something cool at your place? Uh, it's not that cool, to be honest. Yeah, just a normal place. Yeah. Okay. What's the nearest day spot to you? I think there is shooting pool, but I'm not very good at that. Might need to, to become more better at that. How close is the shooting pool? <laughs> I think it's like 20 minutes walk. 
Okay. 20 minutes walk? Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> you have a car? Uh, no. Okay. You got some big problems. Because there's no way you're going to be escalating from a 20-minute walk to get the girl back to your place. She's not going to want to walk 20 minutes. Um, so right yeah, now... Way, I was thinking about the coffee, but you're right. That it's very friendly. Yeah, it's too friendly. The, ne the next best thing you can do right, is just to invite the girls over that have the highest interest in you and see if you can escalate from there. But it, it, you should be able to... With your pictures, you should be able to get quite a few girls who are okay with coming over. And then in the meantime, you get your money up and then you could start having, you could relocate to a place that with better logistics. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, man. You've seen my pictures. I've been doing good work. Obviously, still still need to do some more work, but I think I'm still not getting amazing results. I don't know if I'm missing something or just... You don't have no sex appeal. Remember the last time we talked? You had just... All you had was uh, fashion pictures. Yeah. If you don't have any physique pictures, if you're not displaying sex appeal in that way, sure, you look good. You're going to get a lot of matches, a decent amount of matches, but it won't be. You need both to get substantial amount of matches. Okay, man. Makes sense. Yeah. I'm going to get back to work. And also, congratulations on 400K. Appreciate it, man. I'll Appreciate be here it. on 1 million as well. I'm sure it will be fast. Let's I'll get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Appreciate you, bro. Thanks. All right. Uh. If you're in the chat waiting, all you guys who have a question, if you have a question about attracting girls that you're not attracted to or a general question, click the link in the chat right now to join the stream. Click the link in the chat to join the stream. And if you're in the chat already, type out your question in the private chat. This That's where I'll be selecting the guys I call on. Okay? Type out your question in the question chat. In the private chat, in the private chat. So in the private chat on StreamYard, if you're already part of the stream, type out your question there, and then I'll call on guys based on the questions you ask. Okay? All right. Uh, let's see. Okay. So I see my man, Little Ace. Your question is, I'm looking for something long-term. Um, just got out of a divorce, so I'm so going backwards and dating is hard. How do I proceed with this process? I don't like going to clubs or drinking or dancing. Will I even find a woman like this, or do I need to grow a pair of balls and start drinking and dancing and clubbing? Do you need to start being a degenerate? Fuck no. You need to you need to expand how you meet women, because the only places that you're you're really you are you know how to attract women is are the worst places. So you didn't mention day naps here. You didn't mention women, meeting women in the social circles. You didn't mention meeting women at the grocery store. None of that is part of your strategy. That's a problem. Right. So why what, what's going on with that? So I have gone on Hinge, Tinder, Bumble. I'm doing all that, and I'm 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 getting matches. It's just most of the women that I'm matching with are all clubbing. They like to go to dances. They drink, but that's just not me personally. That's not something I do. So do I need to start doing these things so it can no. come? Why would you why would you succumb to degenerate behavior? Why don't why don't you just attract better quality women? If you're only attracting trash, that means that that's the only thing you're attracting. Mm. If you okay, so don't go don't go down to that level is what you're saying, right? Yes, and become what the girl that you want wants. The girl that you want, describe her for me. She's what not gonna be going doing? out. Go she ahead. ain't clubbing, she ain't drinking much. She's probably most stay-at-home mom. She's good with family and she's motivated financially, like me. Okay, so where do you now let's ask ourselves that kind of girl. What is she going to be looking for in a guy? Somebody with a similar mindset like me. Okay. So that kind of girl, would you agree that she probably, if she's beautiful, she has options in men that already think like you? That's true. Okay. So don't you think that you need to be what that girl likes and wants physically first before you can attract her? So 
if you're attracting a certain kind of girl on day naps, that means that's the only kind of girls that find you attractive. If your looks were diverse enough, you'd be able to attract all kinds of women, and then you could select the kind of girl that you want. That's true. So open up that that network networking circle, right? Is what you're saying. It's not just networking circle. You got to get more attractive. Dating okay. apps are, are so the way dating apps work is you're a profile, and your profile is shown to the users on the platform. Right. Mm. Those users on a platform have different characteristics and what they're into. If you're not attracting the majority of women on the platform and you're only attracting a certain quality, that means it's only that quality that finds you attractive. Since it's a look based selection process first. Yeah, that's true. I feel you. So do you have really nice pictures on day naps? I do. Do you have a nice body? It's a work in progress. Okay. And and what would you consider nice pictures? <laughs> what are the, what are the nice pictures to you? What do they look like? Are they professionally done? No, they're not. Now, what made you think they were nice pictures? Probably the matches. I was getting matches well, and all, but not. Well, how many matches are you getting? Three to two a day, and then it goes slow and comes back. But even then, I'm matching with like lower, lower looking girls. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so that goes back to my point. Then it's you. Yeah. Why would you think that the pictures you have are nice if you're only getting <laughs> three to two matches? You're getting two or three matches a day, and you're the girls you're attracting are average looking. Why would you? What makes you think that your pictures are nice? No, that's true. So you got to look at your image and say, hey, maybe my pictures are not that, as good as I think they are. So I need to go work on my pictures. Did you go I see my recent it. subscriber video? My random subscriber video? Yeah. You, you, you say, yeah, you don't even know what I'm talking about. What am I talking about? The video you posted. When? Recently, the most recent one. That's not true. What was it about? <laughs> you got me. See, yeah, you see how y'all lie. Why? Why do y'all this motherfucker just lie for no reason? I'll be honest with you, I lied because I don't want to seem like uh, I'm not at that level of intelligence that you're at. I don't want to that's seem not, okay, 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 okay. Let's not talk about intelligence here. We're just talking about pure honesty. How am I? How can I help you? If you will lie about something as small as the recent video, ain't nobody holding a gun to your head. I'm just asking you a question as simple as, did you watch the last video? And you say, yes. What does intelligence have to do with any of that? I'm trying to help you. Mm -hmm. And you lying to me does not allow me to help you. When did you post the video? It was three days ago. I watched it for sure, man. It was uh, me helping a random subscriber get more matches on day naps. I had to ask you several questions to uncover that you were lying to me. And this is what, this is not just you, bro. This is what a lot of guys do. You guys have a huge problem. And instead of facing reality and being honest, you just, you start off with lies. Well, if you have a problem that you won't help with, how can I help you uncover and figure out the real solution if you're lying to me? It doesn't help me or you. Like, guys, be honest. I hear you. you. I hear you. That's a that's a character flaw. All right, that's All a character right. flaw that you need to work on, and a lot of you guys need to work on because it doesn't help you by not being completely honest because you don't get the best, you don't get the right information. If I would have just continued, assuming that you watched the video, keep giving you advice that was based on the video, now you don't get no help. You don't even know what I'm talking about. Can't yeah, help I do you apologize for that. I do apologize for that. You're right. <laughs> All right. So I recommend you go watch that video, but you need to look at your look at your pictures, analyze this, and ask yourself, are you is your are your pictures as nice as you think they are? Or are they just okay? And you're just mm -hmm. you're just skating by. Because if chances are they're just okay and you're skating by, and that's why you're only attracting this level of girl. All right. All right. All right, bro. Have a good one. All right.
Guys, I can't help y'all. If y'all can't, don't let me help you. I literally can't. Literally can't. <laughs> All right. I be trying to like guys are trying to join my mentorship. And you be telling, telling the telling telling us lies. Oh yeah, man. I'm I'm I, I'm doing better. Yeah, I, I ain't I ain't really struggling. Like who the hey, you talking to somebody that's trying to help you? You're telling us a lot. You're telling me a lot. That's insane. That's literally crazy. Well, you're obviously not gonna solve this problem if you're gonna start off with lying. I need to, I, I'm gonna challenge you guys to stop all this lying, bro. You need to, you need to, you need to, if you're if you're looking for help, if you want better results. All line needs to go out the window. Let's be as transparent as possible so we can give you the right information. Drop your ego. Throw it to the side. It's not going to help you get results. Admit what you're not getting the results in so you can get the help that you need. Okay? If you're in the chat right now, ask your questions in the private chat. The private chat on StreamYard, I want you to type out your questions first. And that's how I know who to call on. <laughs> Luckily for you motherfuckers that are watching, I talk to guys every day. So I, I know I have a really good idea when the guy's lying. So save it. Save the bullshit with me. <laughs> don't, don't even try to come on here and tell me some nonsense because I'm going to figure it out. All right. If you want my help, as honest as, honest as possible. Okay, somebody has a problem attracting women they want. Uh, let me see the questions. I'm attracting women I'm not attracted to. All right, let's go T. T is attracting women he's not attracted to. What's going on, bro? It was up, boss. Can you hear me? What's good, G? How you doing? It was good, bro. Hey, so yeah, I'm having that problem. Uh, I kind of know what I'm doing wrong. I know I, I found your channel late. And I know I'm putting myself in the in the niche look with these dreads and these tattoos. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like I'm kind of locked into that now because you know of the tattoos. I just was trying to think. Uh, well, I just wanted to know what did you think I should do to at least try to maximize this look. Okay, it, it sounds like you're trying. You're going to stick with that look regardless. Why? No, I would change it. I just didn't know if it was possible. What do you mean? What are you trying to change? The look, because I feel like with these tattoos that I will only be stuck attracting a certain type of type of woman. You can remove tattoos, bro. The technology okay. exists now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The decisions you made in the past does not need to define who you need to become in the future. So I see you got tattoos on your neck, tattoos on your face. Uh I'll be investing in tattoo removal. <laughs> ASAP. That was my number one priority, right? Try to clean up my look so I can diversify the kind of women that I'm attracted to. I don't want to look like a thug. I want to be a, a handsome man that is attracted, attractive to a diverse group of women. Okay. okay. So I will cut off the dreads. Okay. Um, I will start looking into tattoo removals. Okay. Clean up your image because that that attracts the kind of people that you want in your life. If you want to be surrounded around high achievers, guys who are winning, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, they are going to want to be around men that look like them, dressed up nice, clean looking. So, if you want to fit into that into that category of a high earning, high achieving man, you and attract the kind of girls that you want, you got to make your image more clean looking. And not to a niche. Okay. Oh, uh, do you do you have a recommended hairstyle I should I should go to? Uh, are you driving right now? Well, I'm parked. I'm at my job, but I'm parked right now. That's why okay, I'm, you, I'm about to pull up in a bit. Can you step back so I can see what your face looks like? I think some curls will look good on you. Like you already grew out the hair, so if you just got some curls, um. That that would be a cleaner look for you. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. And bro, just, appreciate and just you. Keep, keep the keep the keep the what's this shit called? 
keep this and cut this. Yeah, keep this and trim this up. Okay. All right. Okay. Appreciate it, both. All right, man. Have a good one. If you're a guy watching right now and you're not attracting the kind of girls that you want, or you keep attracting girls that you're not attracted to, general advice is not going to help you. You see how I had to look at him, figure out what he needed to change specifically in order to get different results? Well, if you're attracting women that you're not attracted to, me just telling you some random shit is not going to help you. You need personalized advice so you can attract the women that you specifically want. All right? So all you guys who you're tired of attracting these, these low-quality girls, the girls you're not attracted to, and you want personalized advice on what you need to fix, all right? Click that link in the chat, man. Before I get to the next caller, book a free call. Let me see how I can help you. Let me see if I can help you. I can look at a guy and tell several things that he can fix or he should fix, but I can't help you if you're going to get on the fucking call and lie, right? You're going to get, you're going to, you're telling me some bullshit. You got to come on there with integrity and be honest about what you're struggling with. Click that link. If you're tired of attracting average looking girls, you want to attract higher quality girls. And I guarantee you, personalized advice is what's going to help you, not general. Okay, so click that link, book a call. Let me see if I can help. Uh, let me see. All you guys who are in the chat, make sure you send your questions in the private chat first. <laughs> make sure you send your questions in the private chat. Make sure you send your questions in the private chat. Vinny, 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 Vinny. What are you doing here, Vinny? <laughs> Vinny, what is your question, bro? Like, I'm not going to see you tomorrow. Vinny, I'm talking to you, Vinny, in the chat. I know who you are, motherfucker. What, why are you, <laughs> what are you doing here instead of just, or instead of just messaging me privately? You're asking me, your, I, I don't know, bro. But I like it. My students are funny. Instead of you, you can message me. You know, you can message me. Whatever question you have, instead of you sitting in the chat waiting for me to call on you, you could just send me a message or wait till tomorrow. Or you could do both. But I appreciate the, the, the eagerness. All right. If you still have a question, type it out. And I, I get to you, bro. But you know you can send me a message privately in case you forgot. Anyway, think about your question and then ask me in the chat. It seems you want to sit here and I get to everybody else. Um, Because I feel like it's a question that I can just answer privately. Let me see the next question. Uh... All right, Nick, are you there, Nick? So, Nick, your question is, I got a couple of questions regarding dating apps and the single dad life. Just got through a five-year relationship. Okay. Talk to me, Nick. Hold on, let me remove you, my bad. Talk to me, Nick. Yo, FedEx, can you hear me? Yeah, what's going on, bro? Not much. Uh, so, yeah, I just got out of a five-year relationship. Uh, drug me through the mud at the end pretty bad. Cheated on me, all that shit. Um I got kids, flip custody, so I have them every other week. Uh, mm -hmm. Trying to do the uh, self improvement in the gym right now. Um, yeah, and, uh, like I said, probably just attracting like sixes, solid sixes on dating apps and stuff, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, what would you recommend going forward? Just not do that at right now and continue the self improvement, and then just come up or just continue to work on everything and just have it all come together as it comes together. Yeah, I mean, my belief is you should work on everything to have it all come together. Because the reason why you're in this position right now is because you picked the wrong girl, Nick. Yep, yep. If you if you'd have took a little bit more time before you gave this girl a kid and got in a relationship with her, it, if you would have, if you, let me guess, Nick, when you got in a relationship with her, did you have a lot of options with women? No. Nah. Exactly. So that means that you got into a relationship out of scarcity. So the, the right I've solution... Never, I've never been the type that... Like, I've had three girlfriends my whole life, dude. I'm 31, you know what I mean? 
I understand. Listen, I understand that we want a long term relationships, but yeah. the way to do it is not to just jump into them. Yeah. Because what happens is what's, what happened to you. Yeah. Yeah. Cheated on you. You got a kid with her. Like you're doing. Like you're you're putting a you're putting a tough position because you jumped into something that was that was not the best for you. Yeah. So the right solution isn't to keep doing that and wait for the next girl to come and then you do the shit again. The right solution is to be the man that can pick the better girl for you. Yeah. I mean, I think the issue is, is I've been scarcity in my whole life. Like I've just never been that guy. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. like anytime that a girl shows like any type of attention, I'm just like all over it because it's so scary. It's so rare. Like it just doesn't happen for me, you know? And that's what a lot of guys face. Don't, I don't want you to think that's, that's only you. A lot yeah. of guys, let me guess, you, you, you've you put work and business as a priority for a while. Yeah, I own my own business. Right. See, it makes sense. <laughs> this is what the, the, the guy who, who tends to do the monk mode, who tends to prioritize business first, career first, and not necessarily everything at the same time, you, you are more susceptible to being used because you're so, you're so focused on grinding when you don't expand your options, these, these girls can see that. They can see your potential, bro. And they, they will yeah. they will pretend to be what you want. They yeah, will I, did start to, I did start to run into that issue when they started to, you know, they want more time. They want more time. They're going to pull you away from the business. It's just like, it more they, you know, they want more of that time. And the love, more of that time that they give you, the more love and affection, you're not going to want to spend the grind no more because you're getting that. You know what I mean? Exactly. And so, so what you need to do, Nick, is you need yep. to create yourself, you need to create an image for yourself and actually work on this stuff to, to mm -hmm. make improving your relationships a huge priority. Because yep. the second the second person you're going to spend the most time with in your life is guess who? Yeah, your significant other. Your partner. Yep. Let, one second, Nick, let me show you, let me share this shit with y'all. Let me show you guys let me show you guys this this stat right here. So you y'all don't think I'm fucking bullshitting. Because I showed it on Instagram the other day. And yo, I've been rocking with you for like about four or five years now. So I've been with you. Appreciate you, man. One second. Let me let me let me remove you and just show this real quick. Let me show you guys this. I'm gonna bring you back, Nick. So check this out, guys. And then I'm gonna get back to Nick. Um, one second. Whenever I want to find something, I can't find the motherfucker. What the fuck? I wanted to show you guys this poll. Let me just send it to myself. All right, check this out. Let me show y'all this.
All right. So check out this this study, guys. Check out this this poll. Um, by our world in data, who Americans spend their time with by age, right? Measured in minutes per day based on averages. So if you obviously you're going to spend the most amount of time alone, but your partner, if you if you're looking at my screen right now, right? If you, your partner, it makes sure it's sharing. Is it sharing? Let me share this. Let me make sure you guys y'all can see this. So as a as a as a this is who you're spending the most time with in your entire life. All right. Alone, you're going to spend the most amount of time. The, the next person you're going to spend the most amount of time with, not your family, not your children, not your friends, not your coworkers, is your partner. In your entire life, you're going to spend a significant amount of time with your partner. So why the fuck do y'all think that that's something that you should not take seriously? Why do you think that that's something that you should guess on? Why do you think that's something that you should half-ass if you're going to spend a significant amount of time with that person in your entire life? Don't you think that that person is going to influence you? Don't you think that that person is going to have a lot of a lot of a lot of power in your life because you spend so, a large majority of your time with them. So wouldn't you think that if you're spending half of your fucking life with a partner in minutes compared to yourself, don't you think you should spend a little bit more time being selective with the kind of girl that you, you pick as a partner? What the fuck? You motherfuckers are jumping into relationships with the person you're going to spend the most time with aside from yourself. That's crazy. All right, that that's literally crazy. So my man Nick, I think he he checked out, but how is it something that you guys think that you can just guess on, jump into out of scarcity? I I I, I think I, you best believe I'm gonna spend a lot of time finding the right girl for me. I ain't gonna be just picking no any old girl for me to get his girl a kid like my man Nick, and then she cheat on me and and. Now I got to pay her child support because I picked the wrong girl because I was in scarcity. My man, they told men will continue to underestimate the importance of choosing the right woman. And keep underestimating them. I agree with you, bro, but keep underestimating them. Keep underestimating how important that is. And you, and this is why 50% of marriage is in the divorce because you want to pick these thoughts. You don't want to have options. You want to just jump into relationships or you want to focus on business first. And then hope that that you making a lot of money is enough for you to find the right girl. Fuck no. Absolutely not. All right. All you guys who are in the chat right now, make sure you send your question in the private chat first. From the private chat, I will be picking who I'm calling next. From the private chat, I'll be so if you're in the chat right now, send your question to the private chat, and I'll be picking the next guy. Um, okay, my man Boris. Boris says, I got a question, make it a question, about code approach and also for attracting women that I actually like. So, Boris, where are you? Is he still here? I don't see him. I don't see Boris. All you guys who are in the in the in the live stream, make sure you send your questions to the private chat first. Hmm. <laughs> Andrew, I have a call book with your team in an hour. Wanted to jump on real quick. Do you have a question for me specifically? Ask it. If not, um, just wait to see how we can help you, bro. Uh, okay, Alexander. Question. Never really had problem with women, especially in my hometown. I moved to Cali, on, got on Tinder, and not getting what I want. 
So Alexander, let's talk about it. What's, What's good, up, bro? Man? Can you hear me? What's good, man? So you're in Cali, you said? Yeah, just moved to Cali about a year ago. And uh, I never really had a problem on tenor back from my hometown, Atlanta, but I moved to Cali and I get the matches, but it's all chicks that's six is max. And if I do match with like an eight or nine, in my opinion, we just, it just don't go anywhere. Like you hit, you send a text and they don't, they don't respond. So. Okay. So what does your image look like? What do your photos look like? Oh, uh, well, I think they're not bad because I actually just recently got into photography and I changed everything, but um, I got a couple friends that, I mean, I just told them to hold the fucking camera and take pictures. So they're not too bad. Like I went back and edited them off the SD card myself. So mm -hmm. I can show them to you. Um, I don't need to see them. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out what exactly is going on. So you said that your, your pictures are dialed in. Like you got, you got physique pictures, you got fashion pictures, everything. Yeah. Maybe a little less on the fashion, but uh, definitely physique. Definitely like scenery. Okay. Um, do you have the premium services? Yeah. Go. Okay. And what? how many matches are you usually getting whenever you do a boost or something like that? Probably like 10, 12 every time. And you in, Los, you in LA? Yeah. Okay, then it's definitely your pictures. So if you could, if you can maybe send me a uh, a screen recording of the pictures you got on Tinder, yeah, on Instagram, send it to me on Instagram. Or just send me your entire profile. Like, let me see. Send me your entire profile, your pictures. Yeah, let me see. Let me see. Uh, just so just screenshot. Let's see. Just screenshot. Your screenshot your profile, your pictures, and your bio, and then send it send it to me on Instagram while I get to the next person. I bet. All right. If you're in the private chat right now, send your question to the private chat. I mean, if you're in the in the stream yard right now, send your questions to the private chat. Mm. Hey, I was here. Something happened with connection. Or oh, it's two different dudes. One of them is Boris. One of them is Bobby. Which one are you? <laughs> I don't know who that is. It's two different names. Okay, uh, before I get back to Alexander, is Rich the Kid here? No, he left. Okay. So if you ask me a question and you, you don't stay for me to get you to answer your question, I can't help you. So if you're a guy right now that has a question, if you're struggling to attract the quality of girls that you want, look in the chat. Look in the chat. Click that link and come join the stream so I can help you out. And then all you guys who are in the chat, in the live stream, send your questions through the private chat. That's where I'll be picking the guys from. Send your questions through the private chat. Let me see who has a question. Ask your question through the private chat. And Alexander, let me know when you've done it. Okay, so Boris, you are Bobby, and your question was, I have, a, I have, I have some, I have a question. Make it a question about code approach, and also for attracting women that I actually like. Bro, you left again. This man here, Sammy. I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate, appreciate the love. Um, okay, Nick is back.
So Nick, yeah. What I was telling you was Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. What I was telling you was since you understand that you're going to spend a significant amount of time with your partner, the right thing for you to do is to not do what you did in the first relationship that got you cheated on, going back into a relationship in scarcity. You need to create abundance for yourself. You need to have a mindset of abundance, and that comes from actually having options. You got to revolutionize yourself as a man, right? Improve your physique, improve your style, improve yep. your digital image, and be more selective with the women that you allow into your life. So when you do pick a girl next time, it's not because a girl that's just giving you some pussy, you're dealing with a girl that you know is good for you. Yep. Yep. Definitely. Okay. So yep. that's my advice. Yeah. Go ahead. That's my advice. And if you want some help with that, man, um, click the click, click. Let me post the link again for you. Yeah, I'm gonna hit you up. It's a it's a pretty long story, like my whole like the last 10 years, like relationships and shit. Okay, so if you if you want if you want some help, just look in the chat in a, in a YouTube chat, click yeah. that link, and just book a call, bro. All right, I will. All right, bro. Appreciate you. All right, Alex Alexander, are you back? Are you ready, bro? Alexander, give me a thumbs up. All right, so Alexander, LA. So you send me your pictures. Uh, I sent you a screen recording on Instagram. Okay, it might not let me see it because it might not let me see it because they, it don't let me it don't let people message me without first me accepting it. We talked uh, before, so it may it may be. It may be. Yeah, I booked a uh, call with one of your dudes. So okay, let me see which where is it? You just sent it. What's what's your username? Uh, Tyrone Alexander. Well, hold on one second. Is or just tell me your username. Tell me your username, bro. What's your username? What's your username, bro? All right, Bobby, what was your question, Bobby? You say you need to help a court approach? Bobby? Yeah, yeah. I'm late waiting on you, bro. You, you gonna have you gonna have Wi-Fi problems the entire time? Well, you say you had a question about uh, girls you like? Uh yes, yes, about them. What is it? Uh well, um, I was with a girl in um actually in a nightclub and um actually at first i liked s some other girl but at the end i ended up with a girl that i don't like so much so that was my question like how do i track them the the, so the girls what, that I really made, want. what made you think the nightclub was a good place to attract these girls uh i just like ended up uh being there but i i admit that it's not the best place yeah, yeah, we were. I was with a friend. Okay, so, yeah, so now you're asking, me, you're asking me how to decipher between two trash, two girls who are in a nightclub, how to decipher between each of them? Is that what you're asking me? Uh, no, not exactly. I mean, like, uh, I know they're trash there, but I mean, like, uh, their looks by the looks. Um, you can see them, bro. What the hell are you talking about? In the nightclub, you can see well, the girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Um, I mean, like overall, uh, also not only the nightclub, like um, overall for the girls that are more high. You're like, not being. You're not being. Eight. Here comes the bullshit. Here comes more bullshit. What is your problem? What do you need help with? Why do you guys always do this shit? You beat around the bush. To get to the real problem, you first started talking about nightclubs. Okay, well, what is the problem? Okay, mainly is the cold approach. The cold approach. Okay, like, then say I, that. Don't I don't know from where to start. Yeah, from no, because you said, 
Well, yeah, yeah. From where to start, like from for the cold approach, how to like break the ice. Okay, so if when is the last time you cold approach? Well, um, I don't know, a few months back. Okay, so like I mean, you're, not, you're not you're not doing it enough. So I got a guide for you, yeah. Carl. I have a guide for you called Alpha Approach. Okay. Look in the chat. Look in okay. the YouTube chat. Okay. I want you to click it. All you guys who are struggling with breaking the ice, talking to girls, and you want to know exactly what to say, click the link and okay. start there. Start there. Get your first approaches done. And then we can move on to next steps. But you got to be able to talk to the girls first. Okay. Okay, man. Okay, man. Thank you. All right. All right. Alexander, you back? Yeah, what's up, dog? Can you hear me? Yeah, what happened, man? I don't know. I tried to leave. I tried to go to Instagram connection. What uh, went off for a second? So, what's, yeah. your, what's your username? Yeah, so it's Tyrone Woods a thousand. Tyrone Woods a thousand all together. Like the number one zero zero or thou eight thousand. One zero zero zero. Okay, let me see if I can play this. Bro. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> Alexander, let me let me share this shit. Let me share this. So this is what you this is what you consider good. What, what the hell is wrong with y'all? Let's go back to your profile and show this. Bro, what is... What? Bro, what, where's the high-quality photo you just told me you had? What? <laughs> I'm, I'm missing... I am I gotta be missing something. Let me go back again. Maybe, maybe I'm blind. Let me scroll up. Let me start the video. And I'm looking for these high quality photos. Bro. <laughs> what, what the fuck? Bro, you guys can't be serious, bro. Bro, you motherfuckers can't be serious. Where's Alexander? I'm going to do it one more time. It may, maybe it's me. Just one more time. Let me just make sure. Which one is the high quality photo? You got, if we're looking at your profile, let's stop at the beginning. Let's analyze. The first picture of, is of you, where we could barely see who you are sitting on a brick. The next one is of you kneeling down with a hat on. The third one, he's showing your physique. Eh, it's, it's all right. The next one you're sitting on the ground. Next one you're on a, a jacuzzi. I mean, you're on a <laughs> you on a jet ski. The next one is another selfie in the mirror. Where is the high quality photos? Well, you guys don't understand what the problem with guys is. The the, the being self critical doesn't exist. Like, wait, which which one is the high? You not take there's no high quality photo here. There's no way you were expecting to get matches with this. Even if you have a great physique, bro, you got to display it in a way that is attractive. You're not trying hard. You guys are putting, this is what you guys do. You put little to no effort and you try to give photos for cheap and then you wonder why the results don't, don't work or you go overpay and pay some fucking photographer $10,000 and they give you some bullshit. Like, hey, bro, what? Guys. So, Alexander, I want you to go back and I want you to watch my random subscriber video. The reason I made that video was to give you guys a point of reference on what a look is supposed to look like from a random person. Not even going to show you one of my students. A random guy. Go watch the video 
compare his photos at the end of the video to your photos. Ask yourself, do you display the same amount of sex appeal? Do your photos stand out? It, it, this don't make no sense. Like where? Let me guess, Alexander. You say your friends are the ones that took photos, right? Took the yeah. photos. Yeah. Right? I mean, that's what you get. What do you you get? What you pay for? Like what? What do you? I don't. Understand. It's no. You're not gonna cheat the system, guys, and half-ass your image. And get high quality shit. Or y'all go to the opposite end and you go pay these fucking photographers an arm and a leg and they still give you some bullshit. You need the right help. You right. So go back and watch the video. All right, bet. Appreciate it. All right. Yep. All right. Guys, there's no way y'all could. All I have to do is ask. You got a problem? I guarantee you I know a solution. There's no fucking way you can convince me you in L.A. Because <laughs> I got students in L.A. There's no way you can convince me that you in L.A. with high quality photos, you ain't getting matches. No way. No way. The, the photos you got don't ain't as high quality as you think they are. No way. It ain't possible. So maybe you think your photos are better than what it is. Maybe that's the problem. All right, maybe the problem is you guys are delusional about the quality of photos that you have and you think they're better than, than they actually are. So if you're not sure, go watch my random subscriber video and ask yourself, this random dude that FedEx was able to help, do, how do my photos compare to his? It's a guideline. A through Z, I walk through everything with y'all. All right. All right. If you have a question, send your question. If you're in the chat, you got to type your question in the private chat for me to call on you. Type your question in the, in the private chat. And I'll call on the next guy. And the problem with Alexander is you probably were in a place where the competition wasn't as high and then you went to a place where the motherfuckers are getting it and then you become, that's what I'm telling you, surrounding yourself a bunch, around a bunch of motherfuckers who are barely putting in effort is going gonna, is gonna to be, it's not a good reference to how well you're doing. Y'all motherfuckers love comparing yourselves to these bums that ain't doing shit. Compare yourself to some real winners and see how you stack up. Maybe your hometown, you, you, you was the big shot. You go to L.A., bro. <laughs> I guarantee you these motherfuckers not playing. All right? So your, your, your sexual market value and your location will tell you a lot. How do you perform in, in top-notch places or very competitive places? If you can't perform it, it's you. Okay? I'm waiting for guys to send me questions. Send, make sure your question is specific, guys. Whatever your question is, make it be specific. Let me send the link again for you guys to join the stream. Let me send the link again. If you got a question, if you're attracting women that you are not attracted to, let me help you out. Let me see why. <laughs> let me help you out. If you're not attracting the quality of girls that you want and you're wondering why, let me help you out. Mm, let me see who's next. If you if you just joined the chat and you have a question for me, send your question in the private chat 
make it as specific as possible. That's why I'll be calling guys from. Send your question in the question chat. My man, Jerome. Uh, hey, Fit, I'm joining MDA tonight. Good job. Got a call set up with your team. Took action on your photography, and my match definitely increased. But I know I can definitely I can definitely be better. So I have a, sort of, a photo shoot set up this Sunday. I need some photos on the... I need, I, I need feedback on photos ready to send it through IG. Before you do a photo shoot, make sure you speak to my team first. All right, don't do a photo shoot yet. Make sure we see you. Make sure we make sure you see how I can help you. And then once you speak to me privately, I can I can go through what you need to fix. Because just taking photos, as you see, ain't enough. <laughs> you just taking photos and just standing there don't mean shit. So wait, Jerome. Wait till you speak to somebody on my team first, and then then me. Okay. All right. Next question in the in the private chat. Okay, Makai. Makai. If you have a question, if you're in the private chat, I mean if you're on the stream yard, send your questions to the private chat. This is why I'll be picking the guys. Makai, I don't think he's here anymore. Makai goes, How do I become a better conversationalist? When approaching women, I tend to freeze up with higher quality women, but with low quality, I can spit game all day. Well, that means that you are pedestalizing women based on their looks, that you don't believe that high quality women should fuck with you. That's what that means. Your self-belief is low. You don't believe that you should be getting high quality girls because if you could, if you could chit chat with low quality girls, you know you're better than those girls. So high quality girls, and you deem them high quality because they look better, which is crazy. But high quality girls, you know, you know, you know you're not up to par. So first, let's take this pedestalization out of your vocabulary. Stop putting women above you because they look a certain way. Right. So when you do go up to these girls, you're not so sold on their looks. Sure, you want to be with a girl who's attractive, but what else? What else? What else is she bringing into your life, Makai? If a woman, all she has to bring is her God-given looks, you motherfuckers gonna get crushed. That's why these girls are finessing the fuck out of dudes. All she has to do is show up. She don't have to bring nothing else, and you deem her as fucking high quality to where you're scared to talk to her. That's crazy. That's wild. That's why. Okay. Uh, next question. All you guys who are in the, the stream right now, send your questions to the private chat first. There's a private chat on stream, y'all. Y'all are still not doing it. Okay, Levi. I have a lazy eye, but do have some redeeming factors such as height, 6'2", confidence, and a sling build. How capped is my ability to pull the girls I want from a looks perspective? 7 to 8? Well, depends on what kind of lazy eye you, you have. You can get that shit fixed. I hope you know that. Let me know if that's something that is a possibility for you in the private chat. You know you can get that fixed, right? I'm waiting on your response, Levi. Do you know that you can get your lazy eye fixed, Levi? Yes, 100%. <laughs> Why the fuck you don't do it? Y'all motherfuckers are crazy. I don't know what's wrong with y'all. 
y'all are so obsessed with y'all insecurities and problems that you would rather fantasize over them than fix them. If you know you can fix your lazy eye, then why don't that be a priority for you to fix? But it ain't your lazy eye. Because the moment you get that fixed, you're going to still find another excuse. You're going to find another excuse to why you can't get girls. All right, so let's start there. Let's fix your lazy eye because it can be fixed. And then let's see if you if you magically have all the confidence in the world. Then. Because it, you should be able to have confidence in yourself regardless. But since this problem is so big for you, go get it fixed. It ain't even that much money. I think it's only like between like three to five K. All right, go get that shit fixed. And then your confidence should, should jump back now, right? Mm. All right, guys, we need some better questions. Let me see. If you're a guy who is struggling to attract the girls that you want and you have a question for me, click the link in the chat to join. Click the link in the chat to join. Click the link in the chat to join. Click the link in the chat. Click the link in the chat. Come ask your questions. And all you guys who are in the private chat, send your questions through the private chat on StreamYard. That's where I will be calling on guys. Okay. If you don't, if you are in the private chat right now on StreamYard, type out your question. Let me make this clear again for you guys. Type your questions in the private chat, and that's where I'll be picking. Type your questions. Whatever your question is, type it out first. I'm going to leave you guys a chance to do that, and I'm going to get to the super chat. Let's get to the super chats. The guys I want don't want me. It's frustrating. Well, sweetheart, go be what the men that you want want. <laughs> it's the same thing I tell guys. You're not what the men you want want. Simple. Can you answer my previous super chat? Mrs. Super Nifty. If the guys you want don't want you, you're not what the what the guys you want want. So go figure out what the guys you want want and go be that. Because what women don't understand about men with options are your looks are no longer enough. All right? Forget these bums who don't get hoes, right? For the most part, if a girl is beautiful, she can pretty much get a good majority of men. But there's a certain level of guy that he'll fuck her, but that's pretty much all she's going to get from him. Because he gets girl, he gets sex often. Like, this is where, this is where everything shifts, guys. The moment you become a true high value man and you're now which, what women want, you think a girl who's beautiful is going to lock you down? There's no way. What else you bring to my life? All right? You ain't bringing shit else. Your pussy ain't enough. <laughs> That's enough for most of the simps in the world, but a motherfucker who's already getting laid, I mean, what? Uh, how else do you stand out? I be asking girls these questions. I be like, I'm to the point now, guys, where I really don't give a fuck about losing girls, right? Because I can get, I can get sex whenever I want. So I just be asking girls when they, because they see my content. Girls that watch my content, they be asking me these questions, just like her, if that's really a girl. But and I be like, what, what makes you different? <laughs> what makes you different for a guy who's already handsome, already get girls? What, what about you is gonna separate? It? Oh, I don't need to compete for a man. Oh, okay, bet. 
Let me know how that works. Let me know how that works. I'm not getting set past the second date with guys. Uh, either they're smashing you and dumping you or they, you're not that hot. <laughs> That's what it is. If, if you're really a girl. The the bomb 280 with the $5. Appreciate you, man. The bomb 280 again with the $10. Appreciate you again. Met this girl at the club. I've been helping her two kids. <laughs> I don't, I don't even need to read the rest. I don't even need to read the rest. I'm st- I, I'm stuck there. <laughs> I met this girl at the club. Number one red flag. Oh, Lord. Let me not even read the rest. It, it, I know it's going to get worse. Met this girl at the club. Red flag already. I've been helping her two kids. Oh, my fucking Lord. In reality, I've just been doing their homework and showing them your videos. I think they're in scarcity. Thoughts? You need to stop being a fucking simp. That's what the fuck you need to stop doing. You better go be a fucking man and attract women who don't have kids. Jesus Christ. God forgive me for using your name in vain. <laughs> These dudes are, are wild, bro. You better get your fucking mind right. Uh... Thoughts on firefighter as a main job. My man Jordan with the $2. Bro, firefighters are ext- extremely respectable profession, bro. That shit is hard as fuck. Ain't came, I don't know one, one firefighter that, it, it, that's an easy job to do. So that's a fucking hell of a job. <laughs> that shit is fucking challenging. All right. So if that's your main job, great. If your goal is to make more money, you got to do something on the side along with being a firefighter to improve your income. Because I, I think, I don't know, but I think you guys are paid by the hour or like salary or something. I'm not sure. That's a hell of a job, bro. Uh, Lamar with the dollars. Appreciate you. Hey, Fit. I met a chick in the video chat app and we were flirting. I scheduled a date for Saturday. Should I text her up until the date to keep engagement? No. First of all, why you meet? Let's think about this, right? You're meeting a girl in a video chat app. Mm, Not really a good way to start it. The reason I like dating apps and meeting girls in person is because the girl has to make a clear distinction that she wants to fuck with me. A chick on a video chat app, there is no qualifications there is no selection process in who she's talking to. At least on day naps, if she likes you, that's when she matches with you. With a video chat app, I guess you just video chat anybody. Um, so in my opinion, that's a horrible way to meet a girl because there was no distinction, no clear, I like you, I'm interested in you, so let's hang out. So expect that girl to flake and know you should not text her up until the date. If you set the date, you tell her that you're going to message her on the day of the date, and that's all you're going to do. Okay? My man Bruce went with the $2. Appreciate you. High income skills, do you recommend niching down? Uh, of course. But it depends on what you mean. If you mean high income skills that you have, should you niche down on them? The more niche you can, you can, you can start, the better, in my opinion. Let's say you're into sales, right? But you're really good. You become really good at high ticket sales. And you know a lot about dating. You understand You understand a lot about self-improvement. Or maybe you should come work for me <laughs> because you probably make a lot of money. All right? But if you know a lot about selling cars, you should go do that. All right? You want to use your skill sets to your leverage. If you're great at selling insurance, you should go do that. If you know a lot about insurance, go do that. Like That's what I mean by niching down. Sales is the general high-income skill, but yes, you should niche down within the high-income skill. That's what you're asking. All right? It's, it, it'll be easy for you. Let's say you, you know a lot about 
insurance, you grew up in an insurance selling household, you got into high ticket sales selling insurance, that's a cheat code for you. Because you already have understanding in that. So you should use that to your advantage. My man, Corey, two rest with a dollar. Appreciate the super sticker, bro. My man, OCMB with the two, $2 advice on how to increase my man underneath there. Um, so I just re released a bomb your coffee video, um, which is titled supplements that I use to increase my size. So let me help you out because I think penis enlargement guys is a thing and it does work, but there are several systems to it that I won't discuss on YouTube. And one of those things is a hundred percent, um, supplementation, right? Supplementation is extremely important in my opinion, um, in terms of that specifically, because you're talking about a soft tissue, which you you know what? So you got to increase collagen levels. You got to, there's a, it's a lot of shit that you got to do and you got to do it correctly. So let me, let me share this with you guys. A lot of guys already love this video that I uploaded on buy me a coffee about supplementation to increase size. Let me share it with you guys first. Let me share it with you. So if you are interested in, in getting your, your size bigger, this video is like the intro to it without having to spend a whole bunch of money without having to do nothing crazy. You can start doing this specifically and get a lot of results. So this is the link supplements I use to grow my, you know what? So click that, click it. No, you do not need surgery. Okay. So click that, watch the video. Um, I share a lot of insightful stuff about PE on Buy Me A Coffee, and I will keep doing it on a week-to-week -week basis. As you guys can see, man, as I move to Miami, my content has gotten better. So that's not going to stop. It's only just going to keep getting better. So what I talked about in that video is a safe way to supplement to improve your size that actually works. So that's the link, guys. Check it out. Uh... Next. Hold up. Why can't you text until the date? <laughs> it's not about not texting until the date. It's making sure that you're not showing your cards too much um, by trying to keep the girl filled in before the date. All right. Calvin, if you don't shut the fuck up, Calvin over here telling y'all the secrets. <laughs> Calvin, what point is that for you to have the information and then fucking talk about it? That doesn't make no sense. So now you're just wasting your money. That's dumb, Calvin. Instead of robbing people of dumb shit that doesn't have no explanation, let them go understand it because you wouldn't be helping them. If you go listen to Calvin and you do some shit, make sure you sue Calvin. Calvin. Calvin Stevens is responsible for anything that happens to you from the advice he's giving y'all here. Calvin, I'm not going to say nothing because I got to make sure I give you correct advice. Calvin, go ahead. That's on you. But anyway, the Blaze podcast and all the guys who want the actual advice that is detailed, the link is in the chat again. Um, oh, so hold up. Why can't you text until the date? Well, you don't want to fill a text. And a lot of girls, when they when they notice you talking to them for no reason before the date, what they tend to do is they realize that you have a lot of interest in them. Um, and they they know that they can just keep keep you in the back pocket. All, the best way to text girls that you have a date with, guys, is this. You set the date and then you tell them, I'm giving you the secrets right now. You set the date and you tell them that the day of the date, you will send them the address. Okay. So there's no need for you us to chit chat about nothing until the date. We'll talk the day of the date. 
right? Because I'm going to be sending you my address. Does that make sense? All you guys who are in the stream right now, make sure you're sending your questions in the private chat. So once I'm done going through these super chats, I can get to you. Can you explain how dating is like running a business? Robert Sanaz with the Three Hours Canadian. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about the similarities. Why dating is like running a business. So, let's, let's look at dating versus business. Okay. Number one. It, in order for you to get options, in order for you to go on dates, you need options. <laughs> in order for you to have a business that makes money, that provides, that has any kind of cash flow, you need options. In order for you to have anything prosperous with dating, find a, a girl that you actually like and want to spend time with, you need to vet. In order for you to have good clientele with your business, and don't attract fucking bums or, or treacherous people, you need to vet your clientele as well, right? In order for you to get options with dating, you need to market yourself. In order for you to have a successful business, you got to know how to market your business, All right? In order for you to keep having options with the women that you're dating, you got to know how to keep the women. In order for you to keep getting the clients or to make your clients stay, you got to know how to keep your clients. So if we're analyzing business and, and dating so far, we see that there's a lot of similarities. All right? You need options in both. You need to vet, you need to vet the options. You need to learn how to market yourself. You need to learn how to keep it. If we're looking at those foundational theories, they apply to both business and dating. Without options, you ain't getting no hoes. Without options, you don't have a business. <laughs> if you don't vet the options that you have, you're going to attract trash. If you don't vet your clientele, you will attract horrible clients. If you don't know how to market yourself properly, you, don't, you will never get the quality of girls that you want. And if you don't know how to market yourself properly with, with, with your business, your business will never grow. If you don't know how to keep, keep the girls in your life, they will always leave you. Right? If you don't know how to satisfy your customers and give them results, your churn rate will be high, meaning you won't be able to keep the customers, you won't be able to keep the customers that you that you that you buy, that you attract. So it's very similar. It's very similar. All right, so that's how it's similar. Uh, Billy Cotton, the ten dollars, my man, appreciate you, bro. How do you keep a baddie? Apparently, dudes can be savages too. I heard a pro athlete chat that dudes with more money and status on teams will go at dudes baddies who have less money. Of course. I know exactly what you're talking about, Billy Cotton. They were talking about how they will, they will be at the court, right? I know what you're talking about, Billy. You you said, I seen the fucking, I think it was who, there was like a dude will show up to the basketball game with his chick, right? And they'll send the ball boy to go get the girl's numbers. <laughs> it's great. That's what the reality of being a man is. Yeah, if you don't make yourself the catch, other men want what you have. And this goes even to the smallest levels of dating. The lower you are on a totem pole, bro, the more you have to compete with. The more you self-improve, the more you get better, it's actually less competition because the only dudes that your girl will stop fucking with you for are extreme ballers. And if you got the girl attached, she ain't going to fucking work. 
So yes, dudes are savages. Fuck yeah. They don't give a fuck about you. I be telling y'all, bro. I don't want to act like I'm God sent, but I'm telling you, the guys who are at the top, the guys with the most money and status, them motherfuckers don't give a fuck about you. You got a chick that is bad, they taking her. At least they're going to try to. Them motherfuckers don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck to come on here on these podcasts and these live streams and sit on here two hours for you and help you uh, figure out how to get girls. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> they were probably were blessed with extreme talent, which translated to extreme wealth. And pff, your chick look good. I want her. What you going to do about it? I know exactly what you're talking about, Billy. I saw that fucking uh, podcast. I saw the clip from the podcast where they were like, they'll get the ball boy when you go to the bathroom to go holler at your chick. I don't know why y'all think competition isn't a real thing. I don't know why y'all think that other men give a fuck about you. Other men will take what you have, bro. Whether that comes to business, whether that comes to finance, they will take everything you have. You better be fucking competing. All you motherfuckers that claim you don't like competing. Okay. Okay, bro. For sure you don't like competing. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let you mistakenly get a baddie. You want higher chicks? You want higher quality girls? Let you mistakenly get one. She gonna get taken right from you. Right? She, you gonna, she gonna get taken right from you. Taken. I see a lot of you buy me a coffee guys in the chat. You guys know that you do get first priority to ask me questions on the live streams, right? Y'all over here chit chatting with the dudes who are not on buy me a coffee. If you have a question and you're on buy me a coffee and you show me that you're on buy me a coffee, you know, you could get on the live stream and ask me a question. So that's another perk on um, being a buy me a coffee. Aside from fucking uh, learning how to grow your wee wee. <laughs> All right. Anyway, guys, I got to use the bathroom real quick. But yeah, man, you got to become the best version of yourself, bro. That's just what it is. The reality is that other men want what you have. And then they don't really give a fuck. They don't, they don't really give a fuck to take it from you. Okay. All right. Let me go to the bathroom real quick and I'll be right back. Hi right, guys, we're back. We got more super chats. Um, my man D'Angelo Rivera, your opinion on settling for fours to sixes while self improving? Would it be better to be to remain patient and disciplined? I don't think you're settling for fours and sixes. You first of all, you shouldn't be fucking any girl that's less than a fucking six, you should, or less than a five. All right, you shouldn't be having sex with a girl that you're not attracted to completely. For me, a six is a girl who has nobody. She just no nothing spectacular about her. A seven is she has something that's a little bit above average. A eight is she has a nice body and nice face. A nine is she has a nice body and nice face. And she has a great personality. She's charming. She's nurturing. She's not a hoe. That's my standards. A 10 is 
what a nine is, and she remains that for like three years. So that those are my standards. <laughs> Let me say that again. All right. Number one, of uh, you should not be fucking a girl who's less than a five or six. A six is a girl who she's not fat, but she ain't nothing, ain't nothing spectacular about her. A seven, she maybe she has an okay face. A eight, she has a nice face and a nice body. Um, a nine, she has a nice face and a nice body. And she's really nurturing and caring. She's really submissive. A 10 is a girl, is a nine that has done it for three to five years. <laughs> Somebody said, what does a four look like? I have no idea. But I ain't no fucking way you should be fucking no four. All right. So you, you it's not necessarily you're settling, but you have to you have to be realistic, bro. If you're a guy right now and you're a six, you can't be expecting to fuck eights. Right, even if you're a guy who's an eight, you're going to be getting the majority sixes and sevens. It's only when you become a nine or ten guy overall that you can start to really get eights consistently. And I think you could build an eight to your perfect ten. All right. So if you're sleeping with girls who you think are sixes, and you're improving yourself, I don't think there's a problem with that. Cause, Cause, I'm not gonna be settling for no fucking six. I might be fucking them, but I ain't gonna be marrying them. And as I improve, I'm, I'm gonna start to attract better quality girls. But if you are fucking sixes and you're okay with that, and you don't improve, that's when the problem comes. Does that make sense? If you can just start attracting a girl that you have baseline attraction for, that's a good start. And the better you get, you're going to start attracting more and more women. All right. Uh, my man, Ann, with the $2. Opinion on photo feeler to test day nap photos. I don't know what that is, bro. I test day nap photos with girls' responses. There's no AI that's going to be able to tell you what women are dialed and attracted to. If there is, then I, and a lot of guys using that app should be fucking all the hoes. But if that's not real. All right? I know what women are objectively attracted to. And, and that's regardless of race, regardless of ethnic group. I test how women react to my photos. And that's what I move from there. Super nifty. I said, how can I, I? I I refuse to believe that you're a girl. How can I believe? How can I be competitive as a woman? I appreciate the money though. How can I be competitive as a woman? I don't get past the second date. Should I stop asking for flowers and gifts? If you really are a woman, because I don't believe you are, and you're asking for flowers and gifts, well, there goes your fucking problem. The moment you start asking men for shit, real men of quality don't want to do anything for you. The way you get a man to do things for you is to not have an entitled mindset, to not believe that he should. All you feminist fucking girls and all these uh, city girls, how you believe that you, you're going to get high quality dudes and you're going to command they do shit for you. That's a fucking lie. That's why, you know, rest in peace the great the late great Kevin Samuels like women single women keep women single it, it, that's the reality single women keep women single they give each other the wrong advice <laughs> that shit is crazy ain't no motherfucking way a woman is telling her other woman the real advice because they don't give a fuck about each other Women will sit up there and promote each other to be thoughts, be three or fours when they know the game. And a lot of women fall for that shit thinking that these girls have their genuine interest at heart when the girls are just leading you astray. So if you, get up, if you sit up here and you think that you're going to attract a high quality guy while being entitled, get good fucking luck. Good luck. 
Uh, my man, I'm tired of this shit. Want to pull my hair out? Well, go seek therapy, sweetheart. Uh, Robert Snaz, you're doing guys a disservice not recommending deep fake. I'm doing y'all a disservice by not recommending deep face. Do y'all hear this shit? I'm doing y'all a disservice by, by not recommending that you fix your life. Dude, what the fuck is going on? I'm doing you a disservice by telling you that faking your fucking life is not going to get you the results you. I'm doing you a disservice, bro. That's wild. I know for sure my guys are not stupid. That you know for sure that deep faking yourself is not going to get you genuine interest from women. It's going to get you a bunch of women that who you might trick, but you ain't going to damn sure go on a fucking date with them bitches. And if you go on a date with them, they're going to realize <laughs> they're going to realize that you fucking you ain't who you claim to be and they're going to leave you regardless. So no, I'm not doing guys a fucking disservice. I'm trying to help guys not be fucking retards and waste their money on shit that doesn't work. The problem with looks maxing today is a lot of people have have they're taking advantage of men's laziness. All right? That's why you get these apps that want you to deep fake your, your personality and your lifestyle because they know the majority of you motherfuckers won't put in the work to actually be something in life. So let them help you fake this shit. You give them your money and they don't give a fuck what happens to you afterwards. They don't give a fuck if you get caught out of being a catfish. They don't give a fuck if you actually fuck the girl. They don't give a damn. So do you want people that want a money grab from you and want to just take a bunch of money from you because they don't give a fuck? They know you're lazy. That's why you. That's why they, they're offering you this service. Or you want somebody that actually wants to help you to get results permanently. What do you want? All right. How do I build muscle fast? A major bulk then cut. Here we go again. Another guy looking for a shortcut. You motherfuckers want to get in good shape fast. You want to make a million dollars fast. You want to be like, there's nothing that you want to accomplish that's ever going to happen quickly. Instead of asking, hey, fit, what are the day-to-day -day actions I need to take to ensure that I build muscle? No, he wants to know, how do I build muscle fast? I don't give a fuck how many bulks you do. You're never going to put on muscle that fast unless you get on steroids. It took me 13 years to look like this. I've never been on steroids. I never will. The most I do maybe when I'm like old is maybe get on testosterone replacement therapy. That's the most I do. And even that, that's still like something that I have to really, really consider. And I will be open and honest about it. If I ever start taking some shit, I guarantee I'll tell you motherfuckers. Because I refuse not to have no fucking integrity. But there is no way you're going to build muscle fat that I know of without taking steroids. And even the people that take steroids, the people who are super jacked that be like Mr. Olympia shit, them motherfuckers been working out for decades. So if you think you're going to look like Chris Bumstead tomorrow by bulking and cutting, good fucking luck. No matter how much steroids you take, you ain't gonna ever look like him. Cause he's been working out. How long has Chris, how long has Bumstead been working out, guys? I don't know. How long has Bumstead been working out? I don't know. I, I guarantee it's been over 10 years. Guarantee. How long has Bumstead been working out? All these extremely successful bodybuilders who look great that you think you could do you could you could do a balk in the cut and you're gonna look like him. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Miss Super Sniff Super Nifty Susie again with the five dollars. She didn't say more super chats than you motherfucker. This is sad. How y'all letting this girl, if she's a girl, spend more bread? Maybe that's why these girls don't want to submit. They got more fucking money than y'all. <laughs> Shorter than sent like 
50 bucks. That's crazy. She, a seven, I don't know who that is, recommends that women ask for gifts to test his interest. Okay, if you want advice from people, ask yourself, lady, does the advice I'm getting help me in the long term? Anybody that's telling you, and I don't know who this person is, I'm not getting into no YouTube drama, I don't know who this person is, I'm taking basically from what she's saying, look at the advice you're getting from the person. Does the advice help me long term? And does it, does it make sense on a principle level? If I'm a woman, understanding that men don't like to be used, because maybe y'all think men like to be used. Let me break it down for you. Men don't like to be used, especially high value men who have some self-respect. So if I understand that about a man, why would I think that asking him for a fucking gift is going to make him like me? Please take advice from people whose life you want to be, you want to have. If this person you're getting advice from doesn't have the kind of man that you want and not just a man with money, a man with some self-respect that looks good. If he, if she doesn't have that, maybe you should reconsider where you're getting advice from. Who my man, I see Jeff with the $50 super chat. Holy bro. Damn, but that's what's up. Appreciate you, man. I glowed up because of you and my day in life is not overwhelming. Don't have IG. Otherwise, I would have messaged you my before and after pics. We'll do a private session with you one day. Thanks again. Hey, man, ICG, I appreciate you, but you don't have to wait to your private session. If you would like to speak to me about getting one-on-one -on -one personalized help, I'm glad I was able to help you for free. Um, But if you would like even more personalized help, my man ICJ, you don't gotta wait to do a, a wait to do a private session. Click the link in the chat, and all you guys who feel like you want personalized help from me, you want me to sit down with you and customize what your strategy should be so you can attract higher quality women. Click that link in the chat, man, and book a free call. Let me see how I can help you, man. Let me see how I can, you know, curate your specific strategy to get more better women get the quality women that you want or whatever else in dating that you, you feel like you need help with. Okay. It's a lot of super chats. Damn. Appreciate y'all, man. And I just want to say, thank you guys. We just, we hit 400 K today. Much love to y'all, man. None of this shit will be possible without every single one of y'all. I know I give you guys a hard time, but I, I can't watch the videos myself. You guys have to find value in what I tell y'all for me to be who I am. So it should never go without saying that I appreciate all you motherfuckers. I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. Let's keep grinding. Let's keep getting better. Um, and none of this will be possible without y'all. We're still climbing. We're still growing. And I appreciate y'all showing up twice a week to, to, to hear me chew y'all out. But it's because I really care. I really want y'all to do better. And whatever it takes for that to happen, perfect. Let's keep going. All right? Let's keep it up. Mm. <laughs> okay. Robertson Nass with the $2 Canadian again. What photo shoot type is the best bang for your buck? Well, here you, here you go again, asking for a shortcut. You were just asking about the deep fake. You see, you see the commonalities in what you're thinking. You're looking for the cheapest way to get the most results. When I just explained that it takes consistent work to reach your maximum potential. You're the same person that just asked me about the deep fake. If you don't get it, if you don't get out of the mindset of wanting cheap results, of wanting to do minimal work, you're never going to get the results you want. How about you ask me, hey, fit, 
how do I ensure that I do a great job on all the photo shoots I'm going to take so I keep maximizing and improving my image? Why do you think that there's one photo shoot that you're going to do that's going to give you the best bang for your buck? It's because you're lazy and you want to easy out. You want something easy to do to get all the results. You want to put in a little bit of fucking work and expect all the progress. It doesn't happen that way. I've done hundreds of photo shoots. I keep doing them every month. Daniel Alvarez said, that's that fast food mentality. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Looking for a cheap out. Red Pill Hubs, I think he means how many outfits and how long. No, he asked, what photo shoot type? He didn't ask, what should I do on the photo shoot to get the most bang for my buck? He asked, what photo shoot type? That means he needs a specific type of photo shoot. And I'm telling you that that's not physically possible. You have to do several shoots to find out what works for you. All right. It, it is not going to happen with one shoot. I do believe you do need somebody to look at you and give you some pointers. And I can't look at you from your profile, Robert. Um, so if you would like to speak to me, get some help on, on figuring out what photo shoot works for you. All right. You can also book a free call and everybody else that wants personalized help. But I mean, stop, get out this mindset. I probably won't even be able to help you, Robert. Because you're looking for a cheap out. You're the kind of guy that comes into a program and expect the work to be done for you. You expect to join a mentorship and your problems are solved without you actually doing the work. And you're not the kind of guy that I'm, I'm trying to help if that's who you are. All right? If you're the kind of guy that is going to do whatever it takes to improve your life, using the right information and the right resources will get you the results. But thinking that you should just pay for a mentorship and your problems will be solved is delusional. It's delusional. The guys who get the most success from help are the guys that show up time and time again. Y'all just seen one of my students was here, Vinny. I, I didn't even call on him. This motherfucker, he, he has access to me privately. I, I speak to him every single week and he's still, he's still showing up to a fucking regular live stream. That shows you the difference in mentality. He's not thinking, oh, I'm going to just, I'm just uh, uh, join a mentorship and I, my problems should be solved. He's trying to do whatever he needs to do to improve himself regardless of how many times it takes him. That's a winner's mindset. That's a guy who is successful in all areas of his life. The, the, the winners leave clues, bro. Success leaves clues. <laughs> it leaves clues. People who are, are serious about improving their lives, they do shit a certain way. All right. Uh... This guy on Saturday canceled our date because I still firm on a bouquet of flowers. It hurts, but I let it go. I think you're a troll, but I appreciate the money. <laughs> I mean, I really appreciate it. I appreciate the money. Thank you. But if you are really a girl, you need to let go of these... Uh, Dumbass ideologies you got. Thoughts on creatine monohydrate. It's pretty good. That's what I use. <laughs> Bro can't believe he has female viewers. I know for sure I have female viewers. But the female viewers that watch me tend to not have a feminist mindset. All right. 
Uh, Jay Quay said, that's a wealthy tro troll. Yeah, I appreciate you. <laughs> Not fast as in tomorrow. I mean, the most effective. Some people say to maintain your current body fat percentage and others to say getting higher body fat percentage to then cut. I don't believe in the latter, bro. I believe in maintaining your current body fat percentage and slowly, slowly try to build muscle, meaning you, you try to get stronger in the gym, you track your food, right? You do those things consistently and you won't never need to cut in bulk. It might, like your body won't drastically change as much, but you will get the most effective results. What bulking and cutting does, people see these drastic changes in their body and they get addicted to those changes. They see themselves pluff up and they think they're building muscle. When in reality, all you're doing is adding a bunch of water weight and you're not really bulking shit. Or when you cut super much, your body, you look leaner because you're dropping, you're fucking damn near starving yourself. So you think you're cutting. So these drastic changes, these big swings in indifference make you think you're actually doing something significant and you're really not. You're just crashing your metabolism and wasting your time. If you want to see legitimate results, you do it slowly. You focus on increasing your calories. Um, you focus on getting stronger in the gym and your body will change. It's impossible for your body not to change if you're eating the right foods, training the right way, getting adequate sleep every single time. All right. Doesn't creatine accelerate baldness? I, I don't know. Robert, I don't know, bro. I don't think those medical studies are, are true. But if you believe them to be true, then don't take creatine. Super nifty. You got to slide in FedEx DMs if you want a chance at the king. There's no chance. No chance at all. I ain't fucking with no girl that's going on listening to a uh, feminist podcast that think that a men should think that men should give her a bouquet. Don't even waste your time with me. Don't even waste. If you if you think like that, don't even waste your energy, baby. I can let you know right now that ain't going to work. Let me let me save the women some time. Don't even bother. <laughs> Don't even bother. Don't even bother wasting your time trying to fuck with me. I'm the last motherfucker you think you finna get over on. <laughs> Say keep your pussy. I'm good. I survive. I will live. Uh send them our way. You see the difference between me and y'all? You see why you motherfuckers keep struggling with girls? All pussy is good pussy to you. A chick could be a whole feminist, have a tons of red flags, be doing some shit that you don't agree with and you still want to fuck with her. Shit's crazy. <laughs> crazy. And then you wonder why you don't attract quality women. You, you deal with trash. You deal with girls who you know are not good for you. You can't even say no to, you can't even say no to fucking, you can't even say no to box. That's crazy. You can't even say no to box. Scarcity breeds scarcity, man. Keep saying it. Keep saying it. If you can't, if you can't, say no to a girl because she doesn't align with your views, then you're not a man of principle at all. Any girl that looks halfway decent will be able to finesse you. Mm, let me see some more questions. All right, 
I don't see no more questions, guys. No more super chats. Um, hope you guys had a good time today. Uh, let me make sure there's no more super chats. Let me just make sure. Uh, perfect. There's no more super chats. All right, guys. Listen, if you're a guy right now, you've been working on your purpose, you've been working on improving your life, you're trying to fit dating into your schedule, you're trying to figure out how you can attract that quality girl who's not like Mrs. Super Nifty over here, requiring guys to buy her a bouquet of flowers and listening to feminists, you want genuine, pure women, right? And you want to learn how to attract them. You want a personalized strategy on what you need to specifically do and not so much general advice. Click the link in the chat, man. Book a call. Let me see how I can help you, if I can help you, so you can start having a day in life, an active day in life on your terms, okay? Hi, right, guys. It was fun. Peace. See you guys next time.